Hello, uh, this is Bard Tale 3, uh, J. Rodman playing, and we're in the Grey Tower at the fourth floor. I haven't bothered to copy in the coordinates, but um, I think it's fairly obvious how to calculate from zero to four. Uh, so I'll, I'll fix that up later. Uh, I'm thinking this is the last, um, level of this tower, but I don't know for 100% sure. That's just my memory from a playthrough a while ago. Anyway, um, let's, let's, uh, let's start figuring out what's here. I already put down a few walls that I could see from the very first spot that we were standing. There's some somethings ahead, two of them, I guess. To the north, there's a trap and a spinner. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll t do some sort of logic puzzle-like notation. You know, I know that on this column, there's a trap and a spinner. Incidentally, I know that the spinner is not here. I guess I'll whatever. Uh, let's step forward. Well, first of all, we can look backwards. We can see the two somethings that way. And if I step forward, I think I want to get, oh, so we got a note. I'm going to type this off camera. Okay, so I'm done typing this uh, text because I can't type and read aloud at the same time, which makes for a bunch of dead time. Um, anyway, it reads, Broken cross is the goal, yet hidden it doth be. Through, a flaw, through the flaw, egress is won, but peril is not lost. Win the lens, one-third your prize, but at what cost? My read of this is, what you came here to do in this tower, as opposed to the other two towers, is here. Um, it's the lens. You want the lens, and that will be winning the Grey Tower. Something... There's a broken cross, and it's hidden, and that's where we have to go, but there's probably still going to be a fight. That's my read. True or false? We'll find out. Okay, so turning north, I see walls like this north we see odd but south we don't see odd so we see um, and again one two three is what's covered by you know all but one is covered in each direction so the something is this note because one, two, three, north would cover it. But the odd is here, because looking south, we would cover this square, this square, and this square, but not this one. Okay. Uh, nothing special to the east. Well, I guess I can keep mapping. That's, as we step forward, we got a trap and a spinner detected. Somehow, oh, and one-way walls. I should have been more actively looking for them. So I think that because when we step forward, we got a trap and a spinner, but the trap and the spinner are both here. Uh, and this is what I've been using for combination trap and spinner. To the south, we have something. Makes me... Th Oop. Label. Something is down here. And to the north, do we see the something? 
Oh, and look at our spell points just draining away while I'm an idiot. Okay, so this is a spell point drain spot. As is, wait, is it where we are right now or is it just going up again? I'm gonna say run. No, it's a spell point drain spot here too. And another one-way door. I have a feeling I'm going to be using a bunch of gems this level. Let's just step forward. I guess we just stepped on an odd. Yeah, we can't detect odd anymore, even though we know one's right over there. So, we must have stepped on one ourselves. Okay, not much point in um, looking for sensing uh, results, because we're not going to get any. Okay, to the north, uh, again, it's diagonal. It's like the whole thing is one big diagonal. Okay, stepping north, it's darkness, but our spell points are stable. Darkness, there we go. So I'm assuming that to the south is going to be a one-way wall, and it is. Having just tested it. This is not clear what I did. I turned around, tried to walk through it, then tried to kick through it. Neither worked. And now we have a detected trap in front of us somewhere. For now, I'm going to leave um, the traps lying around. They might help me navigate in the case of spinners. Uh, I should also recast. Second sight, I guess. I'm not going to bother with Sorcerer Sight for now. And we hit a trap right here. Well, that's interesting. Look at that auto map. Like, it showed here, but then it stopped. Maybe the, um,. Maybe showing one-way walls is a function of sorcerer's sight? It doesn't make a lot of sense, and it's not what I expect, but I'm going to cast it. Meanwhile, what, how are my hit points doing? I, I feel like I missed a magic drain, or a hit point drain spot. But, whatever, there's still time to find it. So, wrapping around to over here. I can sense things that I pretty much already expected. Um, 
Yeah, we knew there was a trap here, or at least for some reason I decided there was one. Okay, and the board, the boundary wall is a one-way wall. No spinner here. I can't yet tell if there's a trap here. But it seems that we're looping around. Okay, so there was a trap where we were standing. my trap symbol. Oh, it's on the markers tab. Here we go. And this square is darkness. And there's a one-way wall, uh, as we would expect. Well, that or a door. Nope. And to the south is one of the odd locations. fight these guys. I felt like I was taking a little bit of hit point attrition from wandering around, which might be true or false, but in any event, that combat served to raise my hit points a bit. Chantrell found an item. Hopefully, it's a harmonic gem or something better. Oh, it's number two, so it's not a harmonic gem. Holy TNT. Now, can you explain to me how you can use TNT multiple times? Because that seems like a very special trick to me. I, I, I just, I'm just having trouble imagining that one. Okay, so the only way we can go is west. It's not a zigzag corridor for once. I don't know if that's significant. There's a step and then maybe the start of a new zigzag. No, no hit point drain. No. No spell point drain. Those are good things. Polar bears and ice bears. Uh, sure. I'll fight them. And I will use the power of armor class. To reduce the damage we take from them. See, now that my rogue has better armor class, she hits more. There's probably other ways to improve your armor class, like, I think, or sorry, your chance to hit. I think Ogre Strength is one, because that's why I think it's been working. Um, I think the Luck Spell, when we get it, will be another, probably the most powerful way. But those things, I think, may, may combine with armor class. 
Like maybe they just added together. Uh, I think level has an effect too. I'm just kind of like really uh, trying to stay on the harmonic gem track because uh, we got drained a lot of spell points. Oh, what does this do anyway? I forgot. Like I have this, oh right, I don't know. And when I try to use it, it says, you, you know, it's not a usable item. Which means I should probably put it on another character. The brother figurine I don't want at all. Trade this to trade this to Okay, trade <laughs> trade it to someone. Okay, it's on Chantrell now. And after that distraction. This is a one-way wall. I don't feel excited about killing you. Guess what? One-way wall behind us. It does seem like the major theme of this tower. And as we stepped here, we got trap is near, confirming that we know that there's a trap here. Um, there is not a spinner there. I must have stepped on an odd and forgotten to turn Rosier's sight back on. Yeah, now we can see the spinner. Okay. Oh, but before we go forward... Let's look east and verify the expected one-way wall. Okay. To the south, we can see an uh, elbow this way. Looks like we're heading back to the stairs. So we're standing on a something. Pretty sure, because we I think we were on a something and then we stepped forward and we don't see it anymore. So the question is what kind of something is it? It's a hit point, it's a spell point regen. I'm gonna take advantage of this for a bit. Okay, that's probably enough of that. Let's step forward. Fight against one Yeti. I will fight one Yeti. And the harmonic gem on Griselda. That's a pretty good spot for it. 
I, I will say I feel like I'm missing, missing out a little bit by not um, using any summons. I, I know that they're not very effective, but from a show and tell perspective, they seem like they would have a lot of value. This is a one way. Back to the stairs. No, we're not going to go down. And just checking. This is indeed a one way. Whoop. I need to go here. Now, this text about a broken cross, I don't know about broken, but there's a cross. Oh, I know what they mean by broken, right? So here's a plus, which is kind of a crappy cross, because typically when you say cross, it has a, you know, longer tail or whatever they're called, whatever it's called on the bottom. But whatever, this is a sort of cross, like a red cross. And it's broken across the wraparound, right? That's what makes it broken. So, through the flaw, egress is one. So, this is this is the flaw. Can we can we get in here, then? Kicking this wall doesn't work. Um, phase door into this wall fizzles. Port Arcane, one east. I don't have the message anymore. Okay, teleporting here, teleporting here worked. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but it's definitely what I did. Yeah, look at this. Look at how, um, some of the area has maybe it's sorcerer site that shows one-way walls that would make it make way more sense okay so now we're standing in a hit point drain and we can see into this space i should probably put the other walls up uh before i step forward though how many how many gems two that's probably enough uh, Lillian's going to start with full spell points. And I'll step forward. An explosion. Th thank you. That That is what I needed. I needed more hit point loss. I'm actually going to save the game because saving the game is a completely provided mechanic they this is not from the era where saving the game was not allowed they went to a lot of trouble to add this as a new feature to uh at least some versions of bard's tale 2 and all versions of bard's tale 3 so it seems legit to me okay i'm gonna try west first and we got we got another explosion. I feel like we're in Nomorigon. Are there any WoW players watching this? That might mean something. Going east next. An explosion. Okay, this this doesn't feel like you know the way to win. Let me go get my compass back. Okay. So, what about south? In a flash of dim gray light, the party comes face to face with the keepers of the gray tower. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put an icon here, because I don't think they're gonna be my friends. Uh, where's the, where's the bossy icon? Oh dear. Why is, why is it, why is it so hard? Okay, here you are. 
monster. I mean, they're not really monsters, I hope, but I just think this is going to be a fight. In a flash of dim gray light, the party comes face to face with the keepers of the gray tower. Oh, that's it? Some typos. All, all on purpose. Okay, um, we're not on full hit points, and I don't know what they can do, and there's seven of them. I guess there's different strategies. One strategy is pull them to us and slaughter them. The other strategy is push them away to maximum distance and hope to slowly pick them off with the rogue. I'm going to try for option two. Um... What will my fighters do, though? I will shoot a Zen arrow. And Lady Chantrell will use a Holy TNT. Lady Oakshield, rather. Chantrell, what will you do? You should probably start singing. Um... Elena, of course, should hide. Elendor, Godfire, I guess. Uh, these two will cast Farfo, both, because I think our spells will fail to some degree. So, our spells are not working very well. Or our spell-like effects from our items. We are getting wrecked. Okay. That that was bad. I think my strategy of pushing them away is the right one. It just didn't work. Okay. I'm going to cast heal. Oh, you can't cast heal. Okay, we're going to cast... I'm just screwed. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try... Uh, I'm going to reload the... I'm going to load from my save, because I think that's a completely legitimate thing to do. Be right back. Okay, so here we are, having reloaded, turned off the computer, turned on the computer, boot disk, etc. That's what we had to do in virtual land. I mean, obviously, that was on the Commodore. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm at full spell hit points. Okay, and the next thing is, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to use anti-magic uh, in combination uh, 40 feet is too far for far death I I guess my still the best thing I can do is Godfire. But we can cast Anti-Magic and Restoration. I'm 
unfortunately, the restoration landed before all of the damage spells landed. That is bad because it completely invalidates the spell. I should cast heal because it's the only. Oh, but this turn, Lillian cast after them. Okay, time to reload. Okay. Um, I think my real only chance is my original plan, which is. Immediately far filling. So they're at least casting some spells that don't work. Because we're too far away. So they're choosing to waste some of their own time. Does Farfo not engage if they're not close? I mean, I'm pretty sure it always can engage. I'm kind of frustrated because this seems like I'm doing the right thing and I'm just getting resisted. Okay, here we are back for another try. Uh, is sound working? Oh, there we go. Um, <clears throat> this is getting a little demoralizing. Rest. Defend, defend, bring around ballot, hide, luck, restoration, anti magic. I wish they would just decide not to use their nastiest spell for a couple rounds. Okay, we made it through, well, I don't know about that, but you got partway through round one. Okay, um, hide again, bring around ballot again. Uh, lock again. I'm hoping it helps my saving throws. Restoration again. Anti-magic again. Which definitely should help my saving throws.
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend the time to actually send trivial attacks at them, even though I don't think it will do me any good. Um, more healing, more hiding, more luck, more healing, more anti-magic. I may have to flip-flop who's casting restoration soon for spell point reasons. I don't actually know if anti-magic stacks that well, or maybe it doesn't even stack at all. I'm just assuming it does, because most spells in the game do. I feel like we may have stabilized. Uh, okay, not so sure about that with that taking 90 damage. But we're not dead several rounds in. This feels comparatively very hopeful, and my rogue is now in position to try to kill one of them. Uh, luck again. You cast anti-magic. You cast Restoration. One of them is dead. Okay, now that I have all this anti-magic and luck in place, I wonder if Farfo will work. Defend, defend, hit points, hide. Is anyone low? No one's low, so um, uh, let's start doing godfires. You can be responsible for more anti-magic, and you are going to try Farfo. This is me blasting them, and it's working. It wasn't working when I did it at the beginning of the combat. Farfo worked. Okay. At this point, I think I win, because uh, I pushed them to 80 feet away, and if that's not far enough away to prevent all their spells from working, I bet I can push them to 90 feet and that will be far enough away. So I'm going to put this in warp mode and see if I rogue can just kill them off one by one. There's a guard fire to spice it up a little. I wonder if they resist cold. Well, they ought to, but I don't know that they do. Cold seems like it works worse than god fire. My rogue's in place to, um, to kill another one, and she does. You know, just in case, I should continue to stack up bard songs.
down to four. It feels inevitable now. Maybe I'll just... I'm going to stop with this spell casting. I have no idea how many hit points they have. Another one critted to death. I feel like the rogue is more necessary in this fight than in the Brill Hasty fight. Although, maybe with the level of bard song stacking I have and anti magic, maybe I could withstand them now. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to go through the dying in the first round over and over again if I'm wrong. Okay, we're down to one wizard. I'm going to turn off warp mode. And we're going to walk up and kill that jerk. Yeah, take take stacked anti magic. Spells don't really even work anymore. Although I don't know if that would have been good enough for all seven of them. Certainly good enough for this. We're just gonna club you to death. There'll be a statue of you guys left here forever. Lillian Duspray found an item. I sure hope that that's the, um, oh, on a small pedestal that was once guarded by the Grey Wizards is a smoky lens. Okay, so the item is not that. <laughs> it just cut off the message about picking it up with this. Several bodies are stacked here, and they look like they have been run through La Machine. I don't really know what La Machine is, but I'm imagining this is something like a wood chipper. So, how do we get out? Because they said this is our egress. I am going to try teleporting to the bottom. We are at we're three north and two west. So three south, because we're actually here. Actually, before we do that, no. Uh, Lillian, do you actually have the lens? Could you could you, could you check? Yeah, you have it. Okay, good.
And that random item is probably... a harmonic gem. Okay, now teleport out. Port Arcane. Three south. And two east. And three down. No? Where am I? Uh... Did I accidentally press 3 east? Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, 4 east, 1 north. Sure. God, no. I was pressing spacebar so that you would let me start typing things. Not because I wanted to go past it. Oh, a part of Cain, god dang it. Minus 1 north. One, two, three, four, east. That's it. Yep. Taking the passageway. And, okay, going back to the ice cube map. Did not double click that. We don't need to do a rename right now. Want to go one, two, three, four, five east. So we're at the discs. Use smoky lens. Lillian Dewspray places the lens in the proper circle. The smoky circle is occupied. Okay, one third done with this quest. Um, and that's where I'm going to end the episode. See you next time for probably... Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be checking on levels. I'll probably briefly look at their hips experience points. And after that, taking on the next tower. See you.